So again, now uh, our uh, our figure here now again now we want to determine the tension present on the cable. And again, no, in terms of acceleration, one is going upward because this is lighter mass. The one with a bigger mass will have an acceleration going down. No? But the accelerations are in opposite direction. No? So uh, again, no, uh, another force present will be the weight. No? So this one will have weight one. And this one will have weight number two. No? Now again, now since the system is so complicated to look at, we are going to separate it by virtue of a free uh, no, no, free body diagram. No? So this will be weight one, and the other one is your weight number two. No? So again, now that's an example of an Atwood's machine. No? So an Atwood's machine will have two masses. Now this is a similar figure no, with our elevator. You'll notice that if you ride the elevator, there's that other mass on the other side. No? Uh, in, that's within the structure of the elevator. That also, no, uh, they, they think they call it as a counterweight. No? So the elevator does not move merely by, by a motor, but there's a counterweight that also moves up and down no? with respect to the elevator. No? And I think, I think you see that in SMCT, you see that in Robinson's, no, nga may mga elevator, nga mga structure, no, that is uh, covered, no, with some glass, no. So this one may be called as a counterweight, no, and maybe no, this is your main structure, that is your elevator where you get in and out, no. Now again, now if we will, if we will employ our free body diagram, no, so free body diagram number one, no, which is the body which have a bigger mass. Now there are two forces that are present in this body. No? One is tension. And another one which is going down, no? which is our weight. No? So this is our tension going up. And then another one below, which is our weight one. Now, these two forces will cause the motion. No? There are no other forces present here. So therefore, if we'll consider the vertical force, no? which we can also call eventually as F net. F net will be of two things. T that goes up minus W1 that goes down. No? This equals to our F net, again, is mass times acceleration. So the only mass involved there is M1. And we multiply it with A. No? So acceleration, since acceleration here is going downward no? for mass 1, then we will include a negative sign in front of M1. No? Now substituting, guys. No? So um, pilato ka niyaton weight 1 ka ina, 68.6. No? Am I correct? Yes, sir. So this will be T minus 68.6. No? And it is equals to negative 7, 8. No? That's our equation 1. No? So for our free body diagram 1, we end up with one equation. No? Now for our free body diagram number 2, what will be our possible equations? No? So free body diagram number 2, which will have a similar no, illustration. So you have a smaller box here, still with tension. The tensions are equal, no? and there's weight to two no, that goes downward. So the one on the top is T, the one below is W2. No? So this is M2. What's the direction of M2, upward or downward? Downward, sir. M2. Okay. Two will go up. Up, no? up, upward, up, sir. Upward, sir. For our for our free body diagram two, the net force here is what? The the motion no, is caused by what forces? It's still caused by tension minus W two, no? So T going up minus W two that goes down. But since our acceleration is going upward, no, so that will become four A, no? 
for a or for there is m2 times a no? now we know a the result on free body diagram one and the acceleration in free body diagram two to be equal because they're attached in a cable no? again now simplifying our equation what will be our equation now that's t minus ilaton weight 2 kay na 39 9.2 sir then m2 is 4 4 a and we will not write a negative sign before 4 because again now it is four going up na? so again now uh, you can either apply elimination method or substitution method no now, if we will transform our equation on this right side, then T will be equivalent to 4A plus 39.2. No? Now, we have now an expression for T. If we will replace this T value to our equation on the left, no? then T here will be now equivalent to 4A no? plus 39.2. 0.2. No, that's our a t pa lang, no? Minus 68, no? 0.6 equals to negative 7, 8, no? Again, ang ginobra today, we substituted t. So this is our t value. And we added no negative 68 and then negative 7, 8. Do you follow? So from here, we replace it on this side. And now our goal is to combine all A's together and all those constants will also be combined together. No? So if we will combine our equation, then we'll have 7A plus 4A. No? It is equal to, no, if we transfer 68 on the other side, it will become positive. Minus 39. No? Okay. So what is now our value? We will have 11A equals to how much is the difference? Twenty-nine point four, sir. Okay, so what will we do to get A? Of course we will divide. No? A is twenty-nine point four divided by eleven. No? And our A value is equivalent to Two. 0.67 meter per second square. Nah? Okay, so. Okay, how much is our tension? So we, we are now set to find the tension. Nah? So our goal there is to find acceleration and tension. Nah? So what is our value for the tension? Which equation is applicable? No? So I think any of the two. No? So T, if you use this equation here, no? if you use this equation over there, no? then that's 4 times 2.67 no? plus 39.2. No? And we can get our tension. Now you will you will realize here that the tension here will be greater than 39.2, but it is less than 68.6. No? Uh, no? So mas gamay na siya din. Okay, ang iyang uh, tendency diri sa left side is to go down. So the weight must be bigger than the tension, but on the right side, the weight must be lesser than the tension. No? Para nga maghulang siya pasaka. No? Now can you give me our answer now? 49.88, sir. Okay, so the values of the tension and the acceleration. Now, uh, if uh, there's a there's a simply for a simpler process here now that they also use no, uh, and I would like to illustrate it to you. No? So there are those who simply get no the total force. So what is our F net here? No? So actually, ang F net ko no. If we are merely using the, ano na bala, the this this illustration, no? so the F net is actually you know, equivalent to the the difference of the forces. No? So if we we'll, if we we'll subtract weight one, no, minus weight two, 
what is our F net if we will subtract weight one with weight two? That's 68, no, 0.6 minus 39.2. You'll notice that that's equals to 29.4. Am I right? Now, our mass, guys, no, our total mass, no, if you'll get the mass total, no, and mass total being M1 plus M2. No? So what's our total mass? No? Total mass is 7 plus 4. That's 11. No? Now, if our second law is telling us that A is equals to F net, divide by M no, or total mass, then we'll notice that that will simply be equivalent to 29.4 no, divided by no, 11. No. And still, now we will find A to be equals to 2.67. No. Now, this one is an easier process to find acceleration, but it is quite impossible to find the tension. No. So this one allows you to find only one thing. No. So you can simply directly use the Newton's second law no, by getting the difference of the weight and getting the total mass. No? Dividing the two allows you to find no, the acceleration value. No? Okay, so um, do, you, do you follow? So however, now this easier method is only applicable to find no, one unknown here. No? Okay. 